Okay, this problem involves a rocket ship that is in space, and it's a 700 kilogram rocket ship. So let's draw a picture here. I always like to start things off with a picture. I'm not a, I'm not a very good artist, but I try. Okay, so here is my rocket. Okay, and it's a two-stage rocket, so actually it's kind of got a like an explosive charge in the middle to separate it. Okay, and it's the mass of the total mass of the rocket is 700 kilograms. And what that means is, let's call it uh, M1 and uh, M2, and it's equal. So M1 is equal to 350, and M2 is equal to 350. Okay. Now, the initially, the rocket is going at a speed. The initial s the initial velocity is six point two times ten to the power of three meters per second, and that speed is with respect to the Earth. Now, once the rocket explodes, it separates into two halves of equal mass, which I wrote down. And then what it says is, so let's actually draw a picture of this, okay? So here's the first half. Okay, and here's the second half. Okay. Now, what we know is that, let's, let's just, for example, say that this velocity, the velocity of V1, of mass 1, is equal to x, some unknown value. Okay, so that means the velocity of 2 is going to equal x plus 2.45 times 10 to the 10. 2.45 times 10 to the power of 3 meters per second. Now, the reason w I say that is because the question uh, states that the separate pieces of the rocket split into two sections of equal mass that move with the relative speed to each uh, to each other of 2.45 times 10 to the power of 3 along the original line of motion okay question is what is the speed and direction of each section relative to the earth after the explosion therefore if we can find v1 and we know that v2 is equal to the origin to the v1's velocity plus this relative component then that's that's what we need to find so we basically we're looking for x so how are we going to do this well let's say conservation of momentum initial momentum equals final momentum what is the initial momentum well it's the originally the mass of the rocket times the velocity of the rocket is equal to and finally we have two different distinct pieces m1 v1 plus m2 v2 that's the conservation of momentum equation now we just it's just a matter of plugging things in okay uh, let's just keep these as variables for now and let's plug in v1 is uh, x for example we can just actually you know it's probably easier if we just stick with v so let's just say this is v1 and this is uh, v2 is v1 plus that so probably bis makes a bit more sense than using an X okay there we go now we're gonna solve for V1 okay so this is gonna equal m2 times V1 plus m2 times 2.45 multiplying it out oops that's a 3 and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna collect like terms here with the V ones and we're gonna take this M2 term here and put it on the other side so we're gonna have MR VR minus M2 times 2.45 times 10 to the power of 3 and then over here we're gonna end up having m1 plus m2 times v1 and so now we just take this term the 
summation of the two masses and put that in the denominator. And let's go ahead and plug our values in now, okay? So we're going to get here 700 kilograms for MR times a VR, original velocity of the rocket was 6.2 times 10 to the power of 3 minus M2, which was 350 because it split equally, times 2.45 times 10 to the power of 3. Now that whole term is divided by the summation of the two masses. Now the summation of the two masses happens to be 700 because I know they're both 350. And that's going to equal V1. Get our trusty RPN calculator out. And we're going to go 700, enter 6.2 EE3. Oh, let's hold on. Let's try that again. It was off. Let's go 700, enter 6.2 EE3 times 350, enter. Oops. Let's try that again. I messed up here. Sorry about that. Enters 6.2 EE3 times 350. Enter 2.45 EE3 times subtract 700 divided by. Okay, so I'm getting 4,975 uh, 4, meters per second. Now that we know what V1 is, all we need to do is add 2.45 10 to the power of 3 to get V2. Okay, so V2 is equal to V1 plus 2.45 times 10 to the power of 3. Yep, 3. Okay. And so we're going to get uh, 2.45 EE3 plus. And we're getting an answer of 7,425 meters per second for V2. So uh, this guy is going 7,000. 200, 7,400, sorry, and 25. Let's put a red box around that for that one. And this one is going 4,975. So this one's going 4,975 for that one. Okay, that's the end of this problem. Thanks for watching. And that's the end. Bye.